Well, it's Daytona time, Terry. One of your favorite weeks of the year. Yep. So you should be excited. I should hear no complaints <clears throat> today, right? Well. New cars, new teams, new paint jobs. Daytona. And we've already got... Now, Dale Jr. the other day said that uh, with the new car, they were talking about, you know, the old uh, cheat. you ain't cheating if you ain't trying you know, thing in NASCAR. And they were asking about that. If, and NASCAR is trying to make everything stock and, and, and everybody, um, you know, use most of the same parts as you can um, for the most part. And so yesterday, NASCAR officials have confiscated wheels from Team Penske and RFK Racing at Daytona, took them back to Charlotte. And they were for inspection, and they've had to find new tires and redo their get their or not new tires, new wheels, and what it is they got to put new your tires back on your wheels and everything. So <laughs> they uh they were they swept the victories in Thursday night blue green dual vacations. Uh, so that's part of uh this. Uh, now they announced a tougher penalty structure uh, going forward, supposed to be for this year. And uh, because they didn't want team, you know, with the new cars and everything, they don't want to mess with them as much as they used to. They they told them what they could mess with. So what they did, Terry, was something with the pins, pinholes in the, in the wheels. I don't know if they drilled bigger ones, smaller ones, or something. But the rules say you can't use something to make your car better, right? Mm-hmm. So the language coming out of of uh, these two race shops, uh, Penske and RFK, is that they made the changes for safety reasons. So whether you believe that smoke or not, Terry. I don't. No. Thoughts? No, I don't believe any of that. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean. We didn't I, drill holes I, in our uh, wheels to make us faster. No. <laughs> I mean, anytime I see Brad Kozlowski, I believe that anyway. <laughs> but, I mean, I, the other guy, Chris Bouchard, is a different story, but. You know, I mean, I understand cars are going to continue, and, well, and, and your coming. crew is going to continue to try to hunt something. Just tweak it a little. Because the owner, so Terry. Not, that's, why, that's why they were – he's you know. one of the owners. So, <clears throat> Busher was one of the drivers. Mm. That's especially interesting about the Keselowski. Sorry to interrupt you with mouthful. Keselowski is the owner. That's why he was especially involved in this. So go ahead. But, I mean, that's just how I look at it, and I, I do understand. But what are they going to do? They're not going to move them to the back, are they? I mean, are they going to start up in the front? They should move them to the back if you're messing with the stuff that you put on your cars that helped you win this qualifying race. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I haven't heard that they're going to move them to the back. Okay, so I watched a video last night on it. Um, They, right now they're not. They're waiting on any inspection results to come back before the race. That's why they sent them to Charlotte yesterday. Um, Also... Right now, um, with the, they, they've said they can dock 50 playoff points. They could ban you for a whole race or whole team. They put this in the new rules. Now, the specific rule says tires, and and I, that 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 they're that the defendants are trying to say not this has changed his tires, not wheels. And so there's a debate on that. So uh, it, they said. It may not even happen Sunday, Terry, because of the full investigation. It may happen the next week or the next on any penalties going forward on this. Yeah. So, okay. so I can basically, what they as long did was, as you're looking. So basically, what they did was take their modified wheels and said, "You've got to put on the ones that we've given everybody else like that." So no modified. So they're technically going to be in the race with no modifications. So that's why they're saying so be there's no the penalty front. yet. But I don't know if, where they're going to put them. Like you said with qualifying, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, we'll see. Any potential penalties will be determined at a later date after the inspection, NASCAR memo says. So. Well, I think if you're going to set examples, Tom, yep. this is how I look at it. Yep. You dock them 50, you put them, uh, suspend them all for one race, and make you start again. I mean, you show right now this is what's going to happen if you twinkle with the stuff that we're giving you. I mean, why else would you do it? This is a good way, and this would show everybody else. This is what's going to happen. Terry, did you just say twinkle with it? Yeah. So you mean tinker? Well, twinkle. Tinker, twinkle. (laughs) 
twinkle with it. I, 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 I agree almost. Uh, the only thing that makes me want to disagree with you is if you don't. Well, Keselowski's on the pole. <laughs> Hello? No. I didn't know uh, that. If you don't tinker with the. With if it said tires, you take it to the wheels. Well, tires that, that, means that, whatever no, is no, associated. No, no, it does not. In that area, no, no, Terry, it does not. Yes, it the does. wheel and the tire are two different things. The word "car" is also used in it. I'm saying the defendants are trying to say <clears throat> change the tires in the language, and the uh, NASCAR officials are saying changes to the car. Oh, okay, see what I mean? So we're having a lawyer. Well, there you we're go. We're having a lawyer argument. Any <laughs> anything to do with the car? Well, now that it says there that, you go. Yeah, yeah that's anything anything. Has to do with the car. So yes, they're they're lawyering the oh, this. Uh, they're arguing See. about it in a trailer somewhere right now, probably about what they're going to do. But Keselowski is on the pole. Cindric second. Blaney, Briscoe, Elliott, Jones, Larson, Reddick, Bush, Chastain, and Suarez. I don't know if that if it really matters who's on the pole at all, does it, Terry? Not really. Not in this race. Uh, Kaz Growl is in the race. Uh, the the biggest uh, uh, name that's uh, now in the. Uh, Wait a minute, what was I looking at? Oh, oh those were finishes. No, he's not on yeah, the lead. What am I, talking? You I messed think me up. it is. It's, I thought Larson was on it. All right, Larson, yeah. Bowman, Keselowski's on the but right there's second the next two. There you go. Keselowski and Busher. That was the yeah, argument. Because those are the two that won the races. We mixed that up, so folks. Sorry, 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 sorry. Larson, there's Kyle Bush at tenth, and Bowman. Bowman. Did they say fifth or sixth straight Daytona 500. He's qualified front row. Could be. I, I I don't know if it's Daytona or Daytona 500, but it's it's Daytona something five in a row for or six in a row for Bowman qualifying on the on the front. Uh, um, then you've got let's see, a couple of names. That's the one I want to get down here. Denny Hamlin's way back. Qualifying last, Jacques Villeneuve is in but the here, Daytona here, 500, folks. But here, if I look at your bottom, Eric Almarola is number 38. Guess what? Austin Dillon number 36. Uh, move on up to, I guess it would be Denny Hamlin, Cole Custer right there at 30 and 31st. They all have a chance to win this race. <laughs> that is what I like the best. Whether you're up at the front or whether you're at the back, whether you're a good driver, you have an opportunity to win, to win this race. This ought to be every year, either Daytona, Talladega, Restrictor Plate, where every driver has an opportunity to win the Bush class. Every year. Oh, you're going back to exhibition races now. Well, the exhibition that. that well, right, that's Jacques, money. Jacques it's money. Way. Yeah, they sold out to the Coliseum. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Three liters. Anyway, good job, Jacques, Noah Gragson, Almirola, uh, and BJ McLeod at the end of the field. Cat Kaz Grala. Now, here's here's an inter- interesting story talking about parts, Terry. Um, they uh, so some of these cars that are going to start the field. Um, they're obviously one car teams or whatever. So some of them, they've got one backup, basically the big team's got two for the most part. So what they're saying though is because of last night's or practices and all the stuff going up in this weekends, any cars that were wrecked, Joey especially Logano's. this weekend, Logano, yeah. <laughs> that these big team toms are now going to be going to them to buy their backup cars. Yeah. So just by qualifying, they're going to be able to sell one of their their front, one of their two cars that they have for basically double the price that it's worth to one of the bigger teams, and make more on this sale than they might will the whole season just by qualifying for the five hundred. Because of the parts so shortage away, and all that, yeah. the whole oh, yeah. car they're going to sell his whole car, and he can pay it the rest of the season. Basically, it can be paid off if they wanted to for the most part. So yeah. there's a there's a big money money move here in this Daytona five hundred for these cars that are that are lacking parts and and cars that all just don't have the cars. <laughs> So you know, I tell you what, this, this situation doesn't, people are upset about this stuff, man. It's not just the NASCAR guys that can't find stuff. The right. ordinary Joe yeah. can't find stuff. It's not, it's not going very well. So right broadcaster now. for us, for as far as NASCAR this weekend, one thirty today, we'll have the Lucas oil 200 at four thirty. We'll have the beef. That's what's for dinner. 300. And then tomorrow at one thirty PM coverage begins at one thirty for the day. 500. I'll get you green flag times. In just a few minutes. That's coverage time for us, One thirty, Probably be like 3.30, one, Terry. I got a feeling it's 3, 3.30 for yeah, I sure. think it's usually a two-hour uh, yeah. for, for warm-up for, for that. Uh, the good news is I've been – I think they're going to have a decent weather weekend uh, down there. They, they've had like five or six years in a row where it rains in the afternoon in Florida. Duh, huh? Uh, the summer race is really bad for that. But, uh, but anyway, 
Terry, you got any favorites or anything? Any feelings? You, you boys in tenth, Kyle? Uh, is this one of his type races, or is this somebody else uh, for him? Is well, he going to be careful not to wreck this car right now? I mean, you know, this is one of the races that he has not won. So I mean, you know what okay. I'm saying? I mean, he starts reminding me of Dale Earnhardt. Well, like I need this one, you know. And then he had w- w- have uh, victories in every place he's ever been. So uh, you know, I mean, I'm pulling for Kyle. That's who my driver he is. That's who I'm going to pull. But he also, when I get to these races, Brad Keselowski is always going to be. I don't like him. Kyle Larson, I have a chance. Uh, Joey Logano, he, he'll have a chance, no matter where he's at. Even though he did wreck and start in the back, right. he's still going to have a chance. You know. So I mean, he does a lot Kevin of Harvick, he gets out but front. I'm going to tell you stuff him. that really gets me though is how dominant people can be. And I will speak of when I spoke of Kevin Harvick two years ago. Kevin Hart was winning all the races. I mean, every time he turned around, he was winning one. But then last year, he fell off and totally off. And it will this be the year that Kevin Harvick comes back, you know, to be one of the powerhouses in NASCAR instead of just riding around like Jimmy Johnson did right, these so last couple of years? I was going to say something about that. As far as what's weird about the sport is how do you know the difference between not being able to drive as well as you could to not having the right equipment? They, uh, Jimmy was interviewed a couple of weeks ago. And he really hinted at Terry that he wanted to, he said, I'd like to get back in a NASCAR if I was allowed to. Mm. That was the words he used. If you don't, if you remember a year or two ago, right when it was happening, uh, and he had his hit a retirement year with nobody in the stands, and then the next year they marketed it as the best year you ever, and then now all of a sudden Alex Bowman's winning races in the same car, I told you I thought they forced him out. I don't think they wanted him winning an eighth championship. I don't. I think they like the symmetry of the seven, 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 seven guys. They can go in the Hall of Fame. They can put them all in the same room. They can honor them all. I just don't think they wanted him to pass Richard Petty at Dale Earnhardt. I simply don't. And I think they said, thanks for everything, Jimmy. You do. He's still racing. Yeah, he is. He's racing in every car that he can get in. He's racing in Porsche, four-wheel drive Porsches. He's racing two, he's racing two full-time schedules this year in the Formula 1 and the supercar schedule. So he's doing double. It's not like he's like, I'm quitting like a lot of these guys do. It's very fish. I said the other day he said that I would like to come back to NASCAR if I was allowed to. He used the word allowed. And who's not allowing it? Because like, it's not his wife because he's racing supercars <laughs> in IndyCar. That's way more dangerous than riding around in these in these uh, NASCAR uh, cup cars. So as a, I've, I've had questions on that. And that's what we were talking about. Well, like, how do you know the difference between – uh, falling off or, or, or not being good. You know, seeing pictures, they're talking about Denny Hamlin being booed a lot uh, and, and everything, Terry, and watching a video on that and the Chase Elliott fans. And he said uh, something about uh, – he was talking – that he, he basically put down NASCAR fans saying they only want uh, one thing and, 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 and anything different, it, it, it makes him mad. So he was talking about getting booed and, and whether he's going to get booed some more this year. So – but I was looking, noticing he's really got some a lot of white hair in his face too, mm-hmm. and he's always he still ain't got a championship, right? He's always been the the bridesmaid, and Jim, Jimmy was his nemesis as far as that goes. He's he's getting to a point there. He's he's a, he's a car owner now. Um, uh, he's getting to the point of of being done. But I just I just don't know. That, you know, you got Jock Villanueva. He's in five hundred. Like Jimmy couldn't come here for a week. You're telling me Jimmy couldn't just show up on Sunday? with a car set up by Hendricks or somebody and then drives or somebody. Uh, that's just what's weird to me. And they mentioned Hendricks would support or pay for uh, help uh, Kyle Larson if he wanted to do the Indy 500. That was the other thing I wanted to mention about well, that as well. I want to mention this. Go, how many is in this? 39? 40. 40. Yep. Okay. Then a wave is 40. Yeah, but when I was looking at the guys who didn't make it, there's only like one? Uh, oh, two. Two. Two guys? Okay, my whole deal is this. Let we him in. used to have 43. <laughs> Yeah, what dropped it to 40, and we're not going to let no more in? We used to have 43 cars out there. Now, I will say this. The last four cars were basically four miles per hour slower than the other ones. So, okay. those two got cut. I'm just I'm just telling you. I know that. I know your point. Just yeah. let them all in. I'm just saying that's that's how far off the pace they, they kind of are. That's from the back end. It, it is like so 188 bad. 188 to 184. It is so bad here that when you see – the Xfinity out there, they had so many cars trying to make that field. I think they cut five, six, or seven. 
they couldn't make it. Plus, they got a whole ton of cars out on the field, and and the, and the truck races the same way. I mean, there are more people in those two sports than they are the NASCAR part, and and it bothers me. Well, that's because, about money, you know that. Oh yeah, it is. That's got Cheaper. a lot to do with it. But I saw Matt did uh did what is his last name? D Benedetto. D, D yeah. Benedetto. Yeah, D Benedetto. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But he was out there last night in the truck race. You know, I mean, I, has he fallen that he cannot make the big race with anybody else? Nobody's giving him a chance. Well, I'm gonna pull up the schedule for this weekend here. Uh, let's see. We'll do the TV schedule. Um, making. <laughs> Trying to find the, the paint schemes. I'm, they usually post those. I don't see that. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 today, if you want to know what's going on in racing, there's midnight stuff from last night listed on there. Coverage starts, final practice, right as soon as we go off the air. So you guys can, if you want to watch that, you can practice for, for the cup. Xfinity Series uh, qualifies 1130 today, 1 p.m. Race Hub 130 is the two uh, Lucas Oil 200. You can listen to that. KTC Broadcast and WCSL 1590 AM 92.3 FM. KTCBroadcasting.com. NASCAR Race Day Xfinity at Daytona is at 4 o'clock. Uh, the Beef What's for Dinner, 5 o'clock start, uh, and the post game, post race show is on that tomorrow. Let's see if they list, uh, listed, uh, Terry. Uh, do, 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 do. Daytona 500, 1 p.m. coverage, 2.30. Cup Series Daytona 500. So uh, what, coverage starts for us at 1.30. It looks like a 2.30 possible start. Uh, for that, I'll check. I'll check on that specifically. That's TV coverage starts at two thirty, so you probably are right then. MRN coverage starts at one thirty. So radio at one thirty. TV. I'll pull up green flag as soon as I can find that. As well, uh, Tom favorites picks. I'm gonna make Terry mad and say Kazlowski's gonna get away with this, and he's gonna. He win. probably not doing. He's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna cheat win. his way to this. He's gonna cheat his way to the. Yeah. Well, they let him have them tires back and everything that he's fixed. Penske's been around a long time. They'll probably give him a pass. <laughs> they've been around a long i remember when rusty wallace was racing for them they've been around for it's a long saying time 2 30 so so plan for a 2 30 start we'll we'll hope for a 2 30 start for for the for, for the, daytona uh, for the green flag yeah that is a little late i don't know why they don't start at noon seemed like noon well, be a good time west coast it's gonna be done get them out of church who thank you uh, number one who goes, to, who goes to church in california <laughs> who goes to church in california Scientology. okay <laughs> no, they're having their avocado toast and latte at 9 a.m. Sitting on their back porch saying how Midwestern snow is somebody else's problem. So, I mean, I just don't understand why we cater to the West Coast the way we do. They they can get up and watch it. They can get up in the morning. I remember okay. when, I, when I was out in Oregon one time visiting my buddy, I remember I got up. It was just weird. You get up, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. There's a football game on. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You <laughs> yeah. don't have to wait till like. Four o'clock in the afternoon. You know how it is, Terry. On Sunday, yep. doesn't wind up till about seven seven thirty. I mean, man, it's time to go back to work. And then the primetime game comes on at five. Hey, you're done watching football, babe. You've yeah. seen it all. You've seen every bit. So well, the way I see it is, they already have an advantage. Why are we? Uh, the Super Bowl is what really gets under my skin too. Don't start the Super Bowl at six thirty, yeah. Terry. Six thirty on a Sunday. Has to be four o'clock. Should be four. Yes. Then that way, all the. All the folks, all the good folks out in California, all our tofu buddies well, out there, they, can, they can watch at one o'clock. They have a chance o'clock. to go to a church and everything, and be back home. They they Co- don't go see? to church. College national championships need to be on Saturdays, not Monday. That's it's that's ridiculous that that they. Well, they're try, still trying to push for Saturday for the Super Bowl. You know, yeah, well, there was that a, would be bad. Yeah. But the but the colleges, there's no reason. Everyone's going goes to class the day after. It's a Monday and the day of. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that might. That, and they I play on Saturdays. There. Yeah. They play on Saturday. Well, the, co- the, college, the college basketball championship. Yeah, is same on thing. Both yeah. of them. Right. Yeah. So you have to. Nobody goes to school the next day. All right. Uh, upset alert for anybody, Terry, there in the top 10 that you would you would like to see win or upset before we go? Uh, d- uh, be careful with Eric Jones. I mean, he's a decent driver up at the front. Hey, so. that's going to be my pick. And that's, what, that's who I'm <clears> choosing for. The 43 in victory lane. This is the ch- yeah. one of the chances that be he careful. can get. Uh, you're right, Talladega. Uh, keep it on the track. Uh, 43, it's, hey, they've had some runs. They just hadn't finished off. You know, they're the random finishes and stuff you have. I like that, Terry. I'm going to, that's going to be my pick and favorite. I want to see the 43 
back in victory lane uh in uh in nascar uh tom any any pick you said you said keselowski i right? went with keselowski i think they're gonna give him a pass i think that they're gonna go with the safety so all right y'all don't do it again all righty well, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll be back <laughs> keep your trophy <laughs> y'all don't yeah. do that again we'll be back in just a few minutes ktcbroadcasting.com uh, here's some 